Caroline, founder of Equitopia. For this video, we traveled to the beautiful EquiSmart facility in Holland to see if we could, through the use of GateSmart motion analysis, detect measurable differences in the way horses traveled when riders shifted their weight in the saddle. Tessa Roos is a specialist in rider position and Bert Lamb is a specialist in equine motion analysis. I'm going to ask the rider to assume different positions on the horse and then through GateSmart we're going to look at the influence on the horse and the way it moves its limbs. What we will do now is uh, measuring uh, the effect of rider position on the horse. We put sensors in special brushing boots and then we can objectively uh, see if there is any difference in the, in the gait pattern uh, when we change the rider's position on the horse. The sensors display range of motion, timing and symmetry for the hocks, tibias, front and hind cannons. First, baseline data is captured, with the horse moving in a straight line and with the rider in a neutral position. After obtaining the baseline data, Bert takes the sensors off and loads the information into his laptop. He now has scores for how the horse travels when the rider is in a balanced and neutral position. We just analyzed the baseline uh, we, from the test we did before and now we load again the sensors to see different conformations of the rider and the effect of, of that on the gait of the horse. So now we're going to uh, look at the effect of Maxime twisting in the saddle. So she's going to twist a little bit to the right while she's riding a straight line and we're going to look at what uh, happens with the gait of the horse. So here Maxime is twisting her body to the right and you can see that the horse is sort of wants to mirror that in her body. She's looking to the right more. And Maxime's weight is actually dropping off to the left a little bit. You can see the effect in the horse that she has trouble walking a straight line and she has trouble looking straight ahead and organizing her body in a straight line. We can see Maxime twist to the right on the horse's back while she's riding a straight line and the horse's problems relaxing her top line. And she's going hollow and she actually wants to look outside. In analyzing the data from the gate smart sensors, it became apparent when Maxime twisted her body, it affected her horse's movement. Here uh, in the twisted position, twist to the right with the body and that looks not dramatically in the hock angle but here in the hind and front leg, so the lower sensors, you see that the left legs uh, become in trouble. The, the range from the Canon 4, so the front leg, is changed from 83 in one side to 73 in the left side. So the left side is having a negative effect from the, from the twist to the right. When Maxime was riding in the neutral position, the range of motion scores only indicated an approximate one point difference between the left and right front legs. In the twisted position, the difference increased by almost 10 points. So then the left leg is shorter in the movement. The back legs were also affected. You see also a little for the hind leg at the left side. Here you can see the hind legs clearly not tracking up in the same positions. The left hind is consistently coming up short. So in principle the left side of the body is influenced. So what we're going to do next is ask Maxime to collapse in her body and see what the effects on the gates are. The horse has a more labored walk, it's not as easy and as fluent as it was before and she has trouble keeping a straight line again. She also has trouble concentrating. So here Maxime is trotting with a ribcage collapse. So here you can see from the back clearly that Maxime's left shoulder and left hip are closer together than her right shoulder and her right hip. And there is an unevenness in the hind legs from a load that is not distributed well over her back.
Once again, Bert analyzes the results. And then we have here the collapsed position of the body, um, weight-bearing face also with the hock angle. Uh, you see here some, some little differences. In the neutral position, there was a little over a three-point difference in the range of motion for the left and right hawks. In the collapsed position, the difference in range of motion almost doubled. It's interesting to note that the asymmetry in footfall switched sides to mirror Maxime's uneven weight in the saddle. When Maxime was twisting, her seat bones were more weighted to the left and her horse was not tracking up on the left side. When Maxime was in the collapsed position, her horse was not tracking up on the right side. So why did the data from the motion sensors indicate the left hawk's range of motion was shorter than the right? We believe it's because Maxime's horse was bulging its core to the right, thereby increasing the space between the footfalls on the right-hand side. Yet the hawk on the left was still affected and still coming up short. So as you can see, the the position of the rider and the way the rider moves is clearly affecting the horse's movement and the horse's balance and the overall happiness of the horse in the work. I think that's really important too. Thank you.